Hey all, my name is Laszlo Leber. Welcome to my channel coaching. In this tutorial video series, we built a little Spring Boot application inside Visual Studio Code environment and uh, we implemented a REST API with Jersey, which is a JAX-RS implementation. And this is the last part of the video series. So in this uh, tutorial, I'm going to show you that how you can uh, dockerize the Spring Boot application with React frontend application and Nginx proxy. So we are going to run the full full stack application inside Docker containers. So we are going to dockerize the front end, back end, and an Nginx proxy together. So let's get started. Before you can start this tutorial, you need the front end React application and uh, the Spring Boot backend application. You can clone them. You can find the repository URLs under my video. So please clone the both of them and please store them in the same folder because we are going to place the nginx folder and the docker compose file uh, in this folder too. I extended the Java application with the course response filter and I registered it because we want to call our API from the frontend application which is on which will be on a different port. We can test the backend application. Please first call MVN clean package. It will build the, our jar file, basically. Now I'm building my Docker image so call docker build command and after that uh, we can run it and we can test it so call docker run command as well and you can test your application in your browser you can see uh, here it's running so i can check it in my browser on localhost 8080 and i can call my endpoint if you can see here it's it's working Now I st I'm stopping my container. Okay, now it's dead. So everything is working as expected. And now we can check our front-end application. It's a React application. We can run it with this command. First it starts uh, an a shell script which produced the mfconfig.js. It's not important now, but this little project contains this, these files. This is the shell script. And finally it calls react script start to start the React application. It's a very basic React application. We have a use effect. We will fetch our text from the Spring Boot backend application and we display it on the main page. Our endpoint is on slash backend slash API, but uh, our application will call a simple API without backend because we will use a proxy. So we will set up a proxy to, to map the slash backend slash API to slash API. Uh, now we can uh, test our frontend application as well. So first, please install the dependencies. So call npm install. Okay, I installed the dependencies. Now I'm starting the backend application because we need it to test our frontend application with the uh, endpoint call to be make sure our request uh, is working. So I'm starting the Spring Boot application again. Okay, it's now starting. And okay. Okay, it is started. Now, just for testing purpose, I'm writing back the slash backend slash API path because we don't have a proxy yet. So 
I'm running the front-end application now and everything should work as expected. Okay, the front-end application is starting. Okay, the back-end and front-end started. We can check our request in the DevTools. Here you can filter for fetch XHR and here you can see our hello world endpoint called and the text is on the UI so everything uh, is working as expected. Now I'm stopping the both applications and, uh, and I'm writing back to slash API. The API calls uh, fat. it's very important and now here you can see we have a docker file for the front end and uh, this npm start command starts the start.js as I mentioned before and uh, also we have a docker file for the backend application we created it in the tutorial series part 2 and now we can you can call the clean package to build the jar file if you have the jar file then uh, everything is okay and now we are going to create this docker compose yml please create this docker compose yml in the root directory but first we are setting up the nginx proxy so create a folder named nginx and put a default conf and here we set up that the slash backend slash api uh, call will be mapped to slash api the nginx proxy will listen on port 80 and in the docker compose file we set up our backend frontend and nginx so here is the backend you have to set up the context it is the spring test folder and here is the front end it is under my front end folder we are mapping port 3000 to 3000 and we set up the volumes to be able to build the front end in the docker container so you know we are copying the node modules inside the container during build and and uh, we are setting up the proxy here we are copying our configuration file to the right place inside the nginx container as well okay now we can call our docker compose command docker compose f we pass in our yml we put the up and build uh, uh, switches there and now you can see that backend is building after that the front end will be built and finally it will uh, download the nginx image it is if it's not already on your computer and after that it will start the containers okay the images were built and now it uh, starting the containers here you can see the logo of the spring application the front-end application here is our log direct log register ingress configuration which we put in the java file in my second tutorial in this series it's not running yet because our front-end application is not running yet so here is the log that it's starting the development server this is the front-end's log and it will be running soon Okay, finally it's running now, we can test it in the browser, 
here it is our request is working and it's coming from the uh, slash API uh, path, not from the backend slash API path. This is because we set up our Nginx proxy uh, perfectly and it's working. Okay, it was the last part of the video tutorial series about the Spring Boot applications. In the first tutorial, I showed you how you can use the Spring Boot application inside Visual Studio Code. In the second tutorial, I showed you how you can build a REST API with Jersey, and which is a JAXRS implementation. And uh, we dockerized our Spring Boot application with React and Nginx proxy, so the whole full stack application uh, can run inside Docker containers, the front end, the back end, and an Nginx proxy. So you can run them together inside Docker containers now. I think it was a very, very interesting tutorial series. I hope you liked it. If you liked my video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. You will find many interesting tutorials on this channel in the future too. So thank you very much again. Bye.